<laughs> the kit would be so sick on that car. Ooh, another day in quarantine. Uh, everything's going all right. I'm starting to stress out a little bit. Uh, being in this space, uh, you rely on help from companies like me when you're at the size I am to obtain all those expensive things at such a fast pace. But lately, everyone's kind of bogging down and more down. And I think we might need to adapt as we are in this entrepreneurial endeavor, AKA full send, um, and get something that we can go ham on at the house and uh, do something wild. So I'm thinking about buying a GC Impreza Coupe. Um, I had a subscriber, I think it's Instagram, Panda Media sent me one he found in Tucson, which is the closest one that I've seen, heard of. And I'm waiting for the guy to message me back on Facebook to see if we can go look at it and maybe even buy it. Um, the amount of money I'm gonna pay for it is exactly the amount of money I wanted to put towards some responsible things like debt that I have, a little bit of debt I have um, from you know, just starting a business like I'm doing here. But I don't know how many Mustang videos we're gonna be able to make until things go back to normal. Because it's pretty, these, that car is expensive and it couldn't be worse timing to have that car when I need support and there is none available. Um, so I could put that money towards what I should be doing, something responsible. We'll put it towards a GC, but then we'll have a bunch more content and then we can push <coughs> all the cool Karma Speed products that I have coming. And that'll help us stay afloat during this time with the help of all of you guys. Um, so I'm ready to adapt. I'm ready to do a GC if this happens. Like I've been watching Bucky Lassick's channel. I watched like every single video of him building that Y1. We can do this, we got this. I, with a little bit I learned from the 350Z with Bondo and all that and body parts. And then with the help of the guys at Goodspeed, I think we can make something wild, um, but we got to get to the car first. I'm hoping he responds. Um, and I just got to make sure that it's a good idea financially to uh, go back into the very high risk zone. Um, I was just stepping away from that after the last two years of being in the very high risk. We were just making our way out and then this whole thing happens. So now we're stepping back in. Um, I'm ready. Let's do this. First step of today though is making a run to the post office. We got all the restock orders ready to ship. back on Facebook Messenger, he's available after five, so we're for sure sending it to Tucson today to go look at this, so I guess I'll take money with me. Ooh. Yep, it's a hot day, it's 91 out here. Haha, <laughs> the kid was loving the car. It's dope when you have to wheel out a whole cart to your car to ship out all your guys' orders. Wanted this for a long time. These are just lease stocks, you guys should have seen the first time. Next stop, UPS. To do the last of the packages. Some of you guys get UPS shipping. All done at UPS. Get some Taco Bell and we're headed to ESS Tuning. We're talking about potentially seeing if we can work with them on a supercharger kit for the Mustang, but we will see. Uh, Trevor's buddies work there and a bunch of connections, so I just want to go meet them and say what's up and check what they have going on. And I remember I filmed a R8 supercharger install, a part of it, for John at Goodspeed. He was doing one, and it was one of the ESS kits, so it's cool to scope 
finally put the connections together of a kid that I've seen in person and then go meet them. And it's cooler in Chandler, so that's on the agenda. It is 2.46 p.m. Just got back from ESS tuning. Brev in there, shout out if you're watching this for giving us a tour. I am extremely I've, I've turned on by the ESS tuning G2 centrifugal supercharger kit. It's so simple, anyone can install it. He said we could do it in like three hours. We'll get like stock, we just need a booster pump, I think is what he called it. Is it a booster, or booster? I'm not sure for the fuel pump on this. Stock injectors, no mods needed, and intake, the supercharger, and the pulley mount, like the whole thing. It's, it's so easy, anyone can do it at home. I was looking at it. Just pull the front bumper off, mount it with a couple brackets so that everything comes in the kit. And we'd have like 600 horsepower, just like that, which would be perfect for this car because I could still run street tires. The power is, you know, in an up fashion, so the boost comes on. And he was showing me a lot of the technology, and it comes on pretty quick because he was showing me like you turn, I'll show you guys later if we end up getting a kit, but you turn the pulley, then the turbine rotates way faster so the ratio is pretty wild to see like feel it with your hand so it's like get on the gas a little bit and then it forces a bunch more air and it, it's gonna wake this car up like it's gonna be fun if we decide to go that route I did reach out to a couple other companies to see what we can make happen but I do like how simple that is to install how it looks under the hood is rad we'll have a tile blow off that one it that will sound sick um, and whatnot so We'll think about it, we're gonna figure it out. I also just got word back from the guy with the Subaru. He sent me some more photos of it and the body looks pretty straight. Um, he's asking 2,800 for it and that makes me queasy and uncomfortable because I don't, I shouldn't go spend that money but I should because we need to keep making content and that would be like a great like Bucky Elastic has a perfect like, built not bought like if we can build a car here that is very rare and that be like you know I always like wanted to build like an RX-7 like TJ had after riding in his and if that could be like our version of like our ground up build <laughs> imagine the motor setup in the STI and trans in that little car a little two seater oh, yeah like two door coupe So I'm deciding, my cousin offered we could take his truck and trailer to Tucson and look at it. And I think that's the move because if we roll up with the truck and trailer, he's gonna wanna get rid of it and I can get a lower price. So, I mean, I'm definitely going to look at it, but I'm deciding right now if I'm gonna drive down there by myself in the Mustang, look at it, then give him money to hold it and then come back and get it. Or do I just go with the tactic of showing up and be like, yo, I'm taking this car home. Like, you know, the money is flash the money kind of thing and he'll give it to me, so. I don't know. This is interesting times during what is going on in the world right now. And I did not plan to buy another car right now, but I think it's the move. And I know how much you guys are thinking, do it, do it, do it. I'm thinking that. Ah, the kid would be so sick on that car. At the bank now, just got a phone with my cousin Justin. He is like, road trip let's go <laughs> and it's truck and trailer so let's get some cash let's do this well uh this just got really serious justin came through my cousin and parker are taking me to tucson with cash in hand Dirty tea. Yes, sir. Apparently the car is in the alley, so we are marching back to where we can find it. It's 
not too bad of shit. Yeah. We did it, boys. Let's go. What? Thank you. Thank you. Driving home. night first time sleeping next to your younger brother we'll get you a wing soon don't you worry if you guys are new here we're all about building confidence in the garage learning everything we can about each specific sports car model from before buying it to after getting it diy modifying in the garage ourselves so if you like that idea Join the community, hit the subscribe button. We're working on cool cars all the time. We got the Mustang project right now, which is going pretty slow because of coronavirus. And I was looking for something that we could go absolutely ham on. And I want to learn some gnarly stuff. Like you guys are gonna, you guys can see how much love this car is gonna need. So it's gonna be a great test. I love pushing myself to the limits and I hope that encourage everyone else to do that as well. Let's see what we can get done. I hope you guys like this. We're gonna get the WRC full body kit on it, dude. It's gonna look nuts. These cars are so ugly stock, but the glow up is real. Hope you guys like the car. Thank you so much for watching. Check out the playlist on the screen. I'll see you there. I love you, I love you, I love you, I love you. I love you. One of the other day, I was like, hey, you should build a car from a Hot Wheel. I said, perfect timing. I love you, I love you like la 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 la.